self-respect. So you just called out mostly, do you think most men lack self-respect? Keep, um, keep it Not most, but what I have encountered, yes. And I tell them, like, Why? don't I, simp I feel like you're being nice. I think, you're, oh, you tell them don't simp. No, I can show you on my phone right now. Let's I see it. I'm sorry. You got some so, messages from Okay, Simpson? so right here. Okay. We don't know each other like that at all, but we did have a very life-threatening situation happen and I ended up saving his life, right? Yo, what's up, YouTube? My name is Shisha Zed. I am back in here with another episode of The No Cap Show. This is the show where people tell the most lies on YouTube. <laughs> You know how it goes. We've got a new guest here with us today. Please introduce yourself to the people. Let them know your name, okay. your age, and where you're from. All right, well, my name is Cheyenne. I'm from Orange County, California, and I quit my job two months ago to be a full-time model, so that's what I do. Okay, mm -hmm. cool, cool, cool. And you said Orange County? Yeah, like Mission uh, Viejo. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. how do you like it in Orange County? I love it, I love it. It's like perfect for me because I love the beach, I love the water, so mm -hmm. that's my vibe. Orange County's nice. Oh yeah, let's kick back. So today guys, we're gonna be reacting to another Fresh and Fit video. We've done a lot of these in the past. This time, it's gonna be the same thing. You know the drill, no cap allowed. No cap allowed, Shannon. did you hear that? <laughs> Not, what'd you say, I'm sorry. <laughs> no cap allowed. Okay. That's the only rule, man. It's the only rule on the show and people break it every time, especially when I bring them in person. All right. Like this. No, you're right, you're right, because it's hard. Okay, but we're gonna keep it real. I got you. Keep it real, man. Because no. I'm getting more like, I'm getting more, if you, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm getting more uh, female guests on the channel who are keeping it like legit. Are you gonna keep it real I'm today? gonna keep it a buck. That's what I do. Okay. I don't really say no cap. I say I keep it a buck. Okay, okay let's so keep it a buck. That's what we're gonna do. We're let's gonna keep do it a buck, man. All right. The video we're gonna be reacting to today is called, She Called Her Best Friend, I'm Horny, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's, I'm horny in parentheses, so I'm assuming in the podcast they had the guests call, or one of the guests call their best friend and say, hey, I'm horny. Mm, it happens. Before we get into the video, what do you think it's about, if you could like guess? Ooh, what it's call about. their best friend, I'm horny. So it's probably a female, has a friend, they're probably close, they probably never like messed around before. And maybe she was just like, you know, he's attractive, he's all right. Let me mess around. Let me get a little, let me get off a little bit, you know, with my friend and we'll still have that connection after. We should be fine, right? Got you. I don't know. Cool. <laughs> All right. We're going to get into it without any further ado. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. All right. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? Yes. Hold on, hold on. You guys all think you can have platonic friends? Let's start with no. from the couch. Uh, move on. Absolutely Issa, yes not. or no? No. No, Lexi. Can men and women be only friends without yes. any type of interaction in terms of no. sexual? I'm gonna say no because all my male friends, I know that for a fact, would definitely bang me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Lexi, yeah. Lexi, yeah. Lexi, yeah. Lexi, yeah. Lexi, yes or no? no. Lexi, yes or no? Right. No. No. Okay. okay, Slim. I disagree. I have a male best friend that I've been you best do? friends right. with, yes, Perfect. for a very long time, and I've actually that. lived with a male roommate for three years. Okay, save that for one second. Oh, what about you, Miss Vienna? Um, yeah, no, they can't be platonic friends. I only have gay male friends. Okay, period. Miss okay. uh, Columbia? You cannot. If you open your legs for them, they'll fuck you. Okay, DR? Period. Okay. Completely agree. I don't okay. think you can. Miss Kenya, I know you It depends. depends. It depends. And the, it will, will, I'll answer why I said it depends when it goes. Okay, Um. so Yitzi, yes or no? It's my choice whether I want to fuck you, so... If you want to be my yeah, male yeah. friend, that's your choice. Okay, so, but we're saying platonic, which what? means what? sexy. <laughs> For me? I'm sorry. <laughs> Run that back. I'm sorry. Get, like, okay, fair enough. Red? No. Okay, so we got, I think, what, like, two girls that think that uh, men and women keep platonic friends? Yeah. <laughs> Miss Kenya and Slim? <laughs> all right, so I think oh. they just finished asking all the guests. Yeah. I'm going to ask you. Oh. <laughs> you know, then we'll continue watching the rest of it. Okay. Can men and women be platonic friends. All right. Um. God, we want the simple answer. I want um yes or no. Okay. Ah, d d d d d d no. 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 When you really think about it, like off on surface, you could say yeah, like oh yeah, we can hang out. Blah, blah, blah. But if you open your legs, 
it's going down eventually. Welcome to the No Cap Show, man. She's keeping it real. We in here. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's right. honest. Let's get back into it. We could jump around and beat around the bush. <laughs> the two black, the two that black girls. Yes, girl, we got each other. Yeah, yeah. Okay, me you know what, ladies? Hold on, hold on, ladies, ladies. And you know what? Let's play a game. Yeah, let's do this. I want to play a game. Go ahead and text your male friend and tell him that you're horny. Let's see what happens. I'm horny where you at. Here's the problem, right? All right, go ahead. You might be able to control it, Slim, but not him. Which is why she's about to prove if it. the right occasion occurs, even though you might say he's just a friend, he's been waiting for a chance to crack in the armor to say, you know what, <laughs> baby girl, you good? <laughs> Boom, that's it. So text him. Text that's him. Fast. No, 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 it's, it's, it's not you. Put put it back. Yeah, put, put it back. back. Damn, right. you're an addict, bro. Put it down. <laughs> God damn. Damn. Uh, Are we calling it? Oh, he's yeah, FaceTiming you're gonna, me. You're gonna, you're gonna text yeah, him. He's oh, FaceTiming me. Everybody, he's FaceTiming. Hey. When am I supposed to ask him again? No, if you want to fuck. <sighs> are you horny? You want to fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? She just ruined horny? the whole thing, man. You are you horny? Do you want to fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo! My dude was like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> nice, nice and simple. So let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say oh this. Oh my god. What made you say they can't? The men, um, and women can't be platonic friends. Well, because I mean, let me and I want to know from your personal experience. Okay, well, mine. Yeah. Now that's my experience. If I have a male friend, because I have six brothers, I'm naturally um, attracted to men, like in a friend way. I have mm -hmm. that manly thing. I can, you know, mess around. You know how to get along with yeah. men, because it sounds like you get along with your brothers. Exactly. Which so is a good thing. naturally, but at the same time, I already know in my head because I knew from my brothers that. I'm a female and I'm relatively attractive, right? So if I open my legs or I say, "Hey, you want to, you know, get down with the get down?" They're gonna be like, "Yeah, hell yeah, let's go, let's go." It's it, that's it. I mean, you can say that's not how it is, but that's true. Try it right now. Call your best friend, your male best friend, and see. He may not say yes right now because he's trying to, you know, play it coy, like, "Oh, this is my friend," you know. But if you really get down with the get down, you put some lingerie on, it's going down. Oh, he'll say yes. Thank you. But, you know, you can tiptoe if you want. <laughs> She's keeping it real. She's keeping it real. Now, here's my question, man. On the No Cap Show, people feel like they can be a little bit more honest. Okay. Or they lie their ass off. Ooh. Right now, you're choosing to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Which is cool. Okay. Why do you think so many... Okay, let me ask you this. Do you think most women believe what you believe about that? Um, I think it's 50-50. Okay. And I know why. Why do you why? think those other women think that people can be friends who are opposite sex? <sighs> because... They're being an optimist, and I get that, and that's okay, because you have a certain view of the world, right, when you're growing up. Some people just don't let that view go. Like, oh, we can be friends. As kids, you can be. When you get a, when you become adults and you start to develop, yeah, things change. The oh, yeah. mind changes. Everything changes, and you just have to watch your back. You have to be careful. And if you think otherwise, you will find yourself in that situation, and you will be upset yeah. with your friend. Mm -hmm. But why are you upset with him? So, that's nature. Let me ask you this. Let me. Uh, that's good. Wow. By damn. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah, <look. laughs> That's nature. It is nature. It and is. we respect nature on this show. Absolutely. Um, so do you have any male friends? I have a ton of male friends. Do you know that you, do you like know, <laughs> intentionally know that you're friend zoning all of them? Absolutely. And they know that. And they know that. It's out of, it's a respect thing. As a woman, you have to set a boundary of respect. But no, at the end of the day, once that respect is gone and you have to say, hey, I'm done with the respect. Let's get it have, on. Have you ever had to like turn some of the friends off who of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, it's nature. You so, can't be mad. Guys get in friend zone. Mm hmm How can a guy... Ooh, don't do that. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to ask this question. You know what I mean? Because I know what I would say. What would but I'm you curious say? what you would say oh, about God. this situation. All right. Hit me. What would you say a guy needs to do to avoid being in the friend zone? For me? Mm hmm For me only, I can say it's the approach. You want to be 100% honest and you want to be raw with it. I like rawness from my man. So if he says, hey, nice to meet you. I like you from get go. And this is what I want from you. Then we're good. But if you just come in like, eh, you know, like we're friends, I'm going to set that boundary as friends. And that's it. That's a good you answer. You have to be honest with that's yourself. That's some good advice, man. That's just some good tell, advice. Just tell her. What so, can she do? Guys that like, because there's different ways of doing this. You have, yeah. you have the guys who will be direct. Right. Which that's my approach and what I think most men should do. Yes. Um, make make your intentions known. Now, I'm not talking about say that you like the girl because we right. don't want to give her that validation. Right. You don't want to look thirsty. But she <laughs> should get the vibe that this nigga's trying to fuck. Exactly. She needs to feel that. Yes. Right? Um, and of course, you know what I mean? I'm just saying that in specific because most men, that's what most men want out here. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a relationship, 
going the friend route, if you're looking to just smash, going the friend route, a woman's going to, first off, just look at you as weak. Most times, she's going to look at you like you're a pussy. Mm -hmm. You can't be direct with how you approach her. Mm -hmm. And she'll put you in that friend zone. Right. Yeah. Right. So, is there any hope <laughs> in escaping the friend zone? Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. Absolutely. Um, for me personally, like, it, it's happened to me where I've had a friend. Okay. And we've been friends for a long time. And he just says it. And then now the he thing is... He just says it. He just says it. Hey, you know what? You mind if I take you out tonight? Absolutely. But he risks, this is the thing for men, what people don't think about. They're risking everything. They're risking the relationship with you. They're they don't give a everything. fuck about that. For well, pussy? Oh, no. I mean, if you, we'll guys are really, all. if you guys are really friends, though. We'll risk it all, Oh, man. shut up. Like, day one, A1. <laughs> and y'all, like, he's like, oh, I gotta tell her. But my loser, he has to take that risk. And some men are willing to, but a lot I are not. I feel like women, women say that type of stuff, you hmm. know? Men don't give a fuck. Oh, stop. Especially if you've Some had him do. in the friend zone and been teasing him. Some you understand do. you're teasing those guys? Yeah. I bet you you hang out with them. You go on friend dates. See, me, I don't do that. You don't do mm -hmm. that? We talk and okay. we, you know, hey, gotcha. what's up, player? Da -da -da, meet you at an event. That's about it. We don't do the extras. because You that's... don't let them take you out? And... Oh, no. That's too much. Because then I'm playing with them. Okay. Right? Do, you, do you have, like, a guy best friend? No. I okay. don't. I don't. Now, I have people, like, I have specific people that I go to and, like, kick it with or talk to, but that's it. We don't. So mm -hmm. you said um, he, those guys just said it when they escaped the friend zone. Yeah. And they were in the friend zone before? They were in the friend zone. They just say it. See, I don't, I don't think it was... I think maybe you saw it as he mm -hmm. just said it. Mm -hmm. What I think happened is that man leveled up. Okay. In some way, shape, or form. If you right. think really hard, mm -hmm. the way you saw him at first kind of okay. changed. Maybe he started making more money. Maybe he lost some weight and hit the gym. He a did some of type them, of yeah. self improvement. They came up. Maybe he was a you know a lame in high school. Yes. You saw him now, like damn. You know what I mean? Maybe. I can't say no. Yeah, but maybe yeah, it's possible for sure. But that wasn't the case for those guys. For those, no, I'm just trying to think. So your, your advice, if I was to say get out of the friend zone, you would say um, just tell her you want to be. You know what I mean? Just ask her but, out. There's nothing else you can do. What are you gonna do? What are you going to do? You got to ask. You have to be a man. If you are a man. Here's the real advice. Her. Here's the real advice. Cut her off. <laughs> Cut her off. Let's see what she does. <laughs> and just leave her hanging dry. <laughs> if you're in the friend zone right now, cut her off. Okay. Next time she hits you up, be more direct. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, ask her to hang out, take mm -hmm. her out on a date, but cut your... Cut, no, why cut, cut her Cut the off? women off for just... Cause <gasps> There's no reason. You, hmm. you look stupid. If a woman's put you in the friend zone, mm -hmm. you're hanging out with her. She's carrying you around like a trophy. Because hmm. everybody knows, you know what I mean, that he wants to fuck you. Okay. Everybody. Yeah, yeah. If Whoever you introduce him to, they know. Everybody yeah. knows. And the girl's always saying, the ones that I hate the most are like, <laughs> when a woman posts a picture where they mm -hmm. look like they're a couple, like can, all the time oh, on no. like a story That's and a social violation. media. That's a violation. We don't do that. See, what we don't do, women and ladies, whatever, we do not play with men's feelings, okay? So that is a good point. Don't do that. If you know he's your friend, and if you know he likes you, don't play him like that, because he has feelings too. I know we don't like to talk about men's feelings, but they're real, okay? Don't do that. That's not fucking Welcome cute. to the No Cap Show, no, ladies and gentlemen. That's not cute. We don't do that. And vice versa. We just don't do that, okay? All right. Have sounds some class. good, man. <laughs> good. Let's get back into this <laughs> fresh and fit reaction. All right. Why is she shocked? <laughs> That I'm on a uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Miss Kenya looking shaky now. Hey, She's like, no. I'm trying to tell them we are best friends. And we <laughs> She's hot. She's like, I'm trying to tell them we're best friends. <laughs> they don't believe that that, Stop that, that, that happens. Mouth. Don't put words in his mouth. He's a man. You've yeah, all right. seen it. She was defeated. No, we just best friends, though. Like, that ass, though. Yeah, now, we now, but you just said yeah earlier. No, no, no. When you ask, like, mom, I just love a bitch for it. Like, I literally just love a bitch for it. And they ain't even smart, that's right. That's what's crazy. All right, Slime. All right, Slime, I hear you now, but you didn't say that earlier. If she has a guy best friend, it's a wrap. That's the worst thing, I'm sorry. man. All you women out there who have male best friends, you should know right now he wants to smash. Right. In the back of his head, it's in, there. In the front. Oh. It's there in the in front. The back, you know? Right. The moment he sees the crack, <laughs> no, no pun intended, the moment he sees the crack, he's going through the crack. Oh, my God. You feel God. me? I can't. It's Not just, the it's, like, it's like the way women do like the male best friends, it's like a little pet. It is. I you agree. know, like a, 
you get all the work of entertaining a woman, right? Mm -hmm. By providing a personality, a person for her to hang out with. Mm -hmm. She's over there doing face masks on you and like painting your nails and shit. Not the face mask. Okay, hold on. I don't. I don't. I'm not down with that. But <laughs> I saw that on, on the on the shade room. Um, wow. I thought that was kind of crazy. Okay. But I think there were a couple. But anyways, okay. what I'm trying to say out here is you're mm -hmm. doing all the work without getting any of the benefit. Absolutely. You know, you're not getting laid. Yeah. The benefit of being with the woman who you find attractive. So that's why I say cut her off. Okay. Cut her off. Cut her off. That's, I'm a simmer on that. If the goal for that. you is to either like date the woman. Or lay down with her. Oh, lay down with her. Cut her off. Cut her off. Okay, if you say it like that, that makes sense to me. And and don't when I say him. cut her off, I don't mean emotionally cutting her off. Okay. And showing her that you're visibly upset. I mean putting some serious distance and separation between the two of you so she can miss you. And I right? understand. And I mean, she might not miss you. But that's that part case. of that's part <laughs> of being the alpha. So you gotta be willing to walk away. Right? The simp, the beta, he stays in the friend zone and he wishes and hopes that one day She's going to change her mind and he compliments all her pictures, likes all her shit on yes. social media. You go, best friend. He's always there go for her friend. after someone's <laughs> pumped and dumped her. He's yeah. a shoulder to cry on. Oh, it's sad, man. That's true. <laughs> that's that's very true. For men, we ha you guys have to have self-respect. And that's one thing that I do see sometimes lacking in men. Damn. We don't have self-respect. Women too, but I'm talking about men right now. Talk about men. Self-respect. So you just called out most of Do you think most men lack self-respect? Keep, um, it, keep not it a Not most, but what I have encountered yes and i tell them like don't I, I feel like you're me. being nice i think you're, oh you tell him don't simp. no i can show you on my phone right now i Let's told a man literally where where is it we're gonna I, read your yeah uh, can like, we read babe. what he said because he started to call me baby and i'm like whoa don't do that all right we're about to we're about to hear some messages from uh from a simp people let me okay see. this is what you should I not have so do so many let me find <laughs> him let me find him though because oh shit this is hilarious because i'm always talking about how like women get dms um on the on the channel a lot because a while back man I actually made like a fake um dating profiles like a woman dating profile swear to you i got 200 messages in two days that's how thirsty men are out here 200 right and i do like okay when i'm on the dating apps but 200 messages in two days is just fucking ridiculous all right you got some so, messages okay from so right here okay we don't know each other like that at all, but we did have a very life-threatening situation happen, and I ended up saving his life, right? So after this situation, he fell in love with me, and I don't blame him at all. That's a mental game that- You don't blame like, him because that's what happens to you. Usually men fall in love? Well, well yeah, I'm <laughs> not gonna lie, but no, because he fell in love, I saved him. Yeah, I get it, I get it, it happens, because his mind's everywhere, right? Yeah. But he started to call me baby, he started to do things like, oh, baby, this- We wanna hear it, we wanna hear it. Hmm. We want to hear a, a, so a text. So what I told him was, I felt like, mm, I said, you're making no sense, girl, hold on. I said, I told you from the jump, and you kept making it seem like there was more here. Oof. Baby and all that is not going to work here. I just want you to show some respect for yourself, because if you do that, women will take advantage of that. And that's all I wanted him to know. I'm not mad at him. I'm not upset. No, I feel you. But, that, and that's some good advice, man. You know how people women whatever, yeah who can be you know it's just not don't do that show some respect show your worth because if they don't see that they're gonna take full advantage of you man or woman it doesn't matter welcome to the no cap <laughs> show man right? cheyenne i'm just saying i'm just saying I'm that's just saying. what i'm talking about okay. i can agree with that advice man Thank you. i can agree with some of that advice um we gotta we gotta open our minds a little bit right so just because my big thing about um, when I'm out in the world and stuff, is perspective. It's a really big deal, man or woman. Like I said, um, your perspective might not be the same as someone else's. So you have to be ready to take their perspective and not get upset, not get you know weird or not act out. Um, this girl in this video thought that her best friend wasn't gonna like fuck on her, but she's true. She should know that. And as a woman, I don't know how old she is, but she looks like she's almost thirty, mid twenties. She should know that. Shots fired. She should know that by now. <laughs> no, but we're, like really, we, we all, I know you know that. Mm -hmm. I know I know that. We have to be careful out here because if you think one way, you're a fool. You have to be ready for all angles. Sorry. <laughs> um, one thing that I know to be true, right, when yeah. it comes to women and understanding things something i've noticed something i've picked up from mm -hmm. doing this show in specific mm -hmm. is that women who have 
um, brothers yeah. or a father, especially like the father thing, mm -hmm. who they get along with, yeah. are able to hear men kind of give this type of like perspective and mm -hmm. tell their side of the story and are able to like sit through these type of discussions without getting like heated or triggered, triggered like, you know what i mean <laughs> yeah i know I you said that. you have like six brothers six brothers and my father and we're really close so and that's what's up i yeah. think that you know says something about Definitely. um just kind of your you understand um men and you're not leading with your emotions because you've had to deal with men and see that men don't operate the way women do exactly right? you and only you take men for who they are i do i Dogs. do yeah it, no, okay no you have me in the dog pound okay but but really it does make a difference and you have to be able to see yourself as a woman that you are so if you're a woman out there and you're like oh i don't know what's going on you have to really take that time by yourself and learn yourself before you can learn any man truly like take that time to yourself it matters good stuff good stuff Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video and want to do some amazing things for me, here are two things you can do for me that would change my life right now. Hit that like button because Ooh. it really helps promote my channel. Mm -hmm. Number two is hit that subscribe button, man. I'm almost close to, I think about 20K. So if we can get there um, with your help, I'd appreciate that, especially if you've been watching my content for a while. I appreciate you. I appreciate all my subscribers. Mm -hmm. I also appreciate all the new people. Cheyenne. Yes. Thank you for coming on the No Cap Show. <laughs> All right, right, thank you. You kept it real. Of course. You know what I mean? It's not every day this happens. I know. You know, but <laughs> today's the day it's happening and that's what's up. All right. Um, do you want to give, could you give the people um, a shout out to where they could find you? Of course, you guys. Right now, I'm only on Instagram, so you can hit me there at XO period China doll with three L's. Okay, I'm gonna put it right there. here. Bam, right here. Hit okay. me. All right. Good stuff. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Chisha Zed. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.